I've seen you. Oh my gosh. When was the last time we saw each other? Yeah, I know we're neighbors, but like, it feels like forever since I've seen you. You should see my wall. There's pictures of you everywhere on there. But anyway, that is not important. What is important is that you came back. You're the first returning customer I have ever had today. We are going to be drawing you. And if you don't remember last time I drew you as a self-portrait, truly is a masterpiece of work. I do say so myself. Like I even got, I got, got your eyes. I got your uh, head to body ratio. I got it all. Anyway, I am the professional. You are the client. So let's talk about what you want to draw today. So what kind of scene would you like? Would you like yourself? You would like, you would just like, I can't speak. You would like to see yourself or you would like me to draw you as yourself. How boring, but okay, I can do that for you. Absolutely, that is no problem. I'm just, I'm just so happy someone actually returned. Uh, you know, it's like someone returning your calls for the first time, like as a, as a woman you like. That has also never happened if you, if you couldn't tell, but that is okay. Right now, we're just here. Uh, we're just here to celebrate. Anyway, uh, so what, what kind of portrait are you looking for? Are you looking for something abstract, uh, classical, uh, stick figures? I can do it all. I can really do it all. Yes, I am multi-talented like that. In fact, I can draw without even looking, you know? I don't even need my eyes. I have no eyes. Look at me. But that is okay. Anyway, let's get you let's get you all started. Well I'll just I'll just go with the flow. You don't even have to tell me what style you want yourself drawn in. I'll just do it. Alright, so let's get this let's get this nice little party started here. So uh first I guess I'll start with your eyes. Why not eh? You know, I haven't drawn in over I would say about a decade I know we saw each other like last week when you came to get me for a drawing but I didn't draw it it was a figment of your imagination and so is this I'm not even a real person <laughs> yeah they said something about asbestos in our ceilings I don't know if it has anything to do with that but you never know Anyway, we're gonna draw your eyes again. This is like the perfect sequel. Actually, this is, I would have to say that this is the sexiest eye I have ever drawn. I'm fucking seduced by this eye right now. That is just incredible. I'm so good at my job. Anyway, let's, let's try and replicate that eye. Actually, fuck it, you know what? Let's, let's go abstract here. There are no rules in this drawing. <laughs> Just like there are no rules in the real world. I killed a man today. I chopped up his body and buried him in my backyard. But, like I said, there are no rules. Just drawing some happy little eyes. There are no accidents. Master Ugwe said that once. Now, my hand's kind of hurting, but it's okay. It's all good. It's just, it's just part of the grind to get this art masterpiece done for you. You know, I feel like someone's gonna look in this sketchbook in a few years and be like, wow, that guy was on some hardcore drugs. But as an artist, you couldn't want anything more. You really... As a modern day artist, you really just have a dream. And that dream is to rem be remembered as a drug addict. And that's okay. That's a perfectly viable dream to have, especially as an artist. Quite magnificent, if I do say so myself. So I've drawn your second eye again, sexy as, oh my God. Next, we're going to continue with your nose. Now, you got a good nose. Your nose, your nose game is strong. Not strong enough to smell the chloroform, apparently. But we move on. Now I've given you a very good nose, the best nose that I've ever drawn on any picture ever. I know I mostly draw nature. 
future scenes in my spare time, but this is the best nose that I have ever drawn. So be grateful that that is happening to you today. Now I'm going to draw your face again. This is art and there is no judgment when it comes to art. Just like there is no judgment when I killed that man today, I killed him with a can of beans smashed against his skull. <laughs> so I'm drawing your mouth here. I'm giving you a mustache, apparently, I guess. Mustaches are cool. Uh, the most powerful political figures used to wear mustaches. Mustache, mustache high, mustaches. So, you know, they're very good. Your mustache is kind of uneven. It actually makes no fucking sense, but that's okay. Mustaches aren't meant to make sense, just like art. So, let's, let's keep this party going here. Did I mention I'm an alcoholic? Good, I thought you knew that. I know I... On garbage day, I take out a bin that's entirely compromised of, uh, or comprised of alcohol bottles. I just thought you should know that. I must say, you are looking quite mysterious in this picture. You have a mustache, you have some beautiful eyes, a nose. <laughs> You're a dream. A dream if I've ever seen one. Now, let's give you some air. You seem to be rocking a, uh, I don't even know what kind of air that is. What, I don't know how to describe this, but it, whatever it is, it's fucking gorgeous, man. Be absolutely, stunningly lovely. Anyway, I will give you some air because I'm that much of a nice guy. I am the hair giver. <laughs> what does that mean? It means I give you hair. You stupid. <laughs> now, I have to say, you are looking quite good. Quite, 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 quite good. I don't even know what quite to make of this. Other than it is art. It is just art all around. All, all around. I'm so glad you invited me back for a second job. You know that we really, we really didn't get a chance to know each other. I offered to take you out on a date and you declined me. The same thing happened to that man who's buried in my backyard right now. But I was wondering if you'd want to go out Again, I mean for the first time, I'm asking you again if you would like to go out on a date. Would you be interested? You would be. Well, that's just lovely, isn't it? <laughs> this is just fantastic. I get to draw your self-portrait, add it to my collection. Oh, almost showed you there. I get to add it to my collection on my wall. I get to... Yeah, this is going to be fantastic later. Sorry, I'm getting a call. But there we go. Must be the dead body in my backyard. Anyway, let's continue trying here. So where do you want to go to dinner? I'm thinking we go somewhere luxurious. I can dress in a fancy suit. Yeah, somewhere luxurious like Waffle House or something. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, we can show up in full formal outfits. We'll be absolutely stunning. Just like this painting. Sorry, I'm getting another call again. That dead body really wants to come out, doesn't it? It's okay, it happens. Eventually, he will, <laughs> he will accept this fate. It's okay. I must say, this, this is a fantastic piece. 
this is this is really uh, this is really good here. I'm pretty sure they could put you in any movie ever, and you would be the star of that movie, the absolute star. Now I'm gonna try your neck. Yep. Uh, your glorious, your glorious, glorious neck. I hope I'm not making you uncomfortable, seeing as we have to go to dinner together and all. Yes. Oh, you know what? I'm missing. I should darken your mustache. Really is one of your defining features in this picture. I know you don't have one in real life, but in the artistic world, you have one now. And it fits you quite well, I must say. Now, I'm going to draw you a collarbone. Many people don't have collarbones, but I'm one of the lucky few to have seen a collarbone without a person attached to it. Yes. Tuesday crochet gets quite intense with the grandmas. Yes. It's okay though. Sorry, I'm getting another call. That dead body is really persistent. Now, where was I? Honestly, you do look pretty glorious. I don't think I can top this, so are you ready to be revealed? Oh, almost revealed it to you there. Are you ready to get your awesome reveal of yourself portrait? I'm sure ready, and then we can go on our date to Waffle House in suits and formal wear and dresses. It'll be beautiful absolutely beautiful like our future marriage okay i'm excited let's do this so are you ready here we go three two one here we go it's you it's you in all your fantastic amazing glory you look so lovely you look so lovely do you know what you would look even better uh, in a dress or in a suit or in a freezer bag, you know, anything. I would take you in any shape or form. I really got your mustache good, even though you don't have one. I even got your two different eyes, even though your eyes look exactly the same. And I even got your hair, even though you're bald. So I really nailed it all here. Yes, of course, you know what? This painting from me to you is for free because, well, we're going to Waffle House, so you can pay for me then. Okay, thank you. I will get dressed and we can go on our date. Goodbye. <laughs>